In this video, I'm going to show you a quick, easy and free way to get your audio files onto YouTube. The issue with this is that YouTube only allows users to upload specific types of video files. Your exported GarageBand project will likely be in MP3, WAV, AIFF or other audio file formats that can be uploaded to YouTube as is. So what we're going to do is take our audio file and combine it with either a still image or a movie file and then upload that full video to YouTube. Now I'm on Mac, so to do this I'll be using iMovie, Apple's completely free video editing program. First things first then, I'll open iMovie. It'll open in the last project that you were working on, so if you see this screen, hit projects in the top to go back to the project select screen. If this is your first time opening iMovie, you'll be taken straight here. Click on create new and select movie from the options that pop up. Okay, so in the iMovie workspace, you should see this import media section front and center. Here is where you'll add your audio file and image or video file. The absolute most simple way to do this is to just resize the iMovie window a little bit, then drag and drop your audio file into this section. You'll then need to get hold of an image or video clip to go along with your song. This could be album artwork if you have some already made, or just a nice picture or clip that you like. If you want to use some royalty free stock images or video, sites like pexels.com or pixabay.com have thousands of free to use visual goodies on offer, and you can even search for specific things. Once you have your image or movie file downloaded, again drag and drop it into the import media section. Now drag your audio file from the media section into the project timeline at the bottom. Next, drag your image or video down to the timeline as well. If you're using a single static image here, you can just click and drag the edges of the image in the timeline to match the length of your audio file. If you're using a video clip, drag it into the project timeline, then either drag it in again as many times as you need to to match the length of your audio file, or copy and paste from within the timeline by selecting the video clip and hitting Command and C on your typing keyboard, and then Command and V. Once you've got things looking and sounding good, you can export your soundtrack image slash movie by clicking on the share icon at the top of the iMovie window. In the menu that pops up, you'll want to pick export file. Selecting export to file gives you more control over the quality of your exported video. You can now adjust things like the dimensions of your outputted video here, 1080p is probably fine for most things though, and select what quality you'd like it to be. When you're happy with these settings, hit next and you'll be able to rename your file and select where to save it to. Hit save and your project will export. You can check on its progress via the small circle in the top of the iMovie window. Once it's done, you'll be able to find your brand spanking new movie file where you chose to export it to, ready to be uploaded to your YouTube channel. From here, it's just a case of signing into your YouTube channel, clicking on the create button in the top, then dragging and dropping your video file into the box that pops up. Let me know your thoughts about getting your audio onto YouTube in this way down in the comments and give that like button a good hard slap on your way past if you found this video helpful. I really appreciate it and it helps more people see it. And if you've got a wee taste for doing things like this yourself, watch this video next for more info on creating your own album art. 